Okay, hello, we're back. We're back with a little slice and dice. We're back with a little Harris Heller stream beats playlist. Let me turn this down a tiny bit. I think it might be like a little too loud. How are we doing there? That's about where we want to be. Okay, hello. Hi, welcome back. Now, I will say uh, I did win the last YouTube video, but I did attempt to record another video between this one and that one, and it did not go very well. Fun fact, by the way, if you were curious, I learned this the hard way. The dodge ability, like if you go say, for example, let's say, for example, you go to like, I don't know, the jester, right? The jester, where are you? The jester, right? This ability right here, the dodge, uh, does not work on the doom effect. Apparently, it, it does make sense in retrospect because the doom effect is not an enemy attacker effect. But I did not realize this, and I hinged my entire run, basically on being able to dodge the doom hit was not able to dodge the doom hit and i did in fact eat shit and die so uh yeah unfortunate uh f's in chat etc but we're back we're playing a little more and hopefully it'll go well now i have never played with slow spells before i can see it being a bit of an issue but i can also see it being fine in certain builds as well if you're playing like a warlock like, you're not often playing two spells in a single turn. So this seems not, like, that the end of the world here for me. So let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Same with, like, you know, we have the mage here. Same concept, right? We have the flare spell. So I feel like it's not going to be too bad in that sense. I will take this. I'm going to try to hit flare this round if we can. We need the two-sider. We get the two-sider. Boop. Boop. We don't have... Why do I think Flare was three? It's four mana. I'm dumb. Whatever. He's dead next turn. I'm sure it's fine. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully you're doing well. I'm having a good day today overall. Having a, having a fun little... Fun little... Fun little recording session here. Um, man, the early statue is risky. And Glacius is a good pick. If we're trying to just win... Glacier's the right pick here, but I'm here to have a little bit of fun too. So I'm taking the blind statue pick here. Uh, it's going to be a little dicey. We'll see how it plays out. Maybe we get lucky and maybe all the attacks come at the statue. We get one at the statue. Okay, I can accept that. And I think I'm okay with taking the lost dodge here. Like so. I guess, you know, I'm not avoiding rolling that too much. We do like a this and do a burst here and then lost just dodging seems fine to me so using using that big hit on brigand here is a little bit unfortunate because it means that brigand yeah can't attack this turn we play at least hopefully we get the poison hit here which we get you love to see it poison on the archer we uh burst to keep the brigand alive brigand brigand probably brigand uh, and then goblin runs away after this so very cool and we're hoping there's a lot of good items your knife bag would be like the mlg item to get here but there's a couple of good things we can get glass helmet is just funny on statue but this is all pretty bad infuse herbs not not or herbs not herbs not what we want here so we'll take it random tier one and we get the revive potion i mean pretty stinky but we will put it on the statue for the time being Okay, a lot of damage coming at us here. Don't love that. I am willing to play it like this, I think, here. Would prefer a stronger hit from the Brigand here so we can kill one of these rats outright. We'll see what we can get. Try again. Okay. Mm. So the question is, who do you save here? I think you save the lost. I think you go, or though, eh. I think it's fine. It puts the lost only at one HP, but I think it's a little bit better for us here. I don't know. 
You know, with the boar doing this gore attack thingy, maybe I should have... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out here. I'm not loving this start, though. This... Okay, the statue is probably a mistake. I'm willing to say it now. Probably not the correct choice for us. Um, if I'm tbh in. You know what? It was, it was funny. And how can it be wrong if it's also funny, right? That's the real question I ask you here today, folks. Um, so we save one more character here, I think. Or we can let them both die. <laughs> Could let them both die and then just hope that the poison races on the boar. I kind of don't hate it. But I think, I think we get more out of, out of killing the rat here and keeping the mage alive. <laughs> One day a statue will roll the revive potion, though, maybe. Well, I don't know if I would use it here. I might not. Actually, you know what? It's getting a little desperate. I will use the revive potion if we roll it. Uh, well. I think no matter what, we're surviving the fight. I think that's for sure. I think we're rolling for dodge here. And we get it. At this point, we're not using the potion. At this point, at this point, the potion is not worth it. But we're making it out of this one. I'm pretty confident in saying. Can you stop trying to kill me? I am once again attempting to roll for dodge. We've done it. <laughs> That's one way to make it out of the fight unscathed, I suppose. Boar, you can leave. You can leave. I accept. Uh, Jester, sure. We're so dead against the Bramble. There's no way we beat the Bramble here. We're so doomed. Okay, Poison on Statue is actually pretty sick for us. I will I will be the first to admit it here. Um, I prefer something better. Jester, you're fucking me. You're fucking me right now, Jester. Oh, hold on, hold on. Got a flick. Okay. Okay, so overall, pretty good rounds of uh, we're, look, look, we're looking at here so far. I accept this. Hold on, hold on. Actually, what we'll do is we'll do this. Click you, boom. Only one spell per turn. No, Mystic. Oh, well. Might have forgotten about that. Jester's actually a terrible choice. Not the end of the world, but not great. Bless Ring versus Incense. Honestly, I'll take the random tier one or three because there's still a lot of good tier ones for the statue here. We get the Autumn Leaf. that here be miserable we get a we get a, a bandit here but we get a compass and a pendulum <laughs> no thank you those don't help very much not the worst thing in the world because we have the leaf right we could put like a, a a good a good dice on like the right side or whatever but doesn't seem that worthwhile to me I'll take the growth side here i suppose and statue, sure. We, we'll, I'll accept this, I think. Kill the snake. We might be able to get out of this fight with no one dying, which would be pretty cool. A little bit of a recovery chance for us here. Or maybe everyone dies. Love that as an option for us. Okay, we're, we're making it out of here. I think we do like one of these. Just flick. Uh, what is... I do not remember this being on the, the lo-fi list from Harris Heller, but apparently it is, so whatever. Uh, what am I what am I looking at here? Looking at Rogue and Priestess? Not for a little Rogue action. Why not? I don't think we're going to trigger Bandit uh, Retreat here very, very much. Very likely to, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. Um... Let's roll a bit here. 
I accept this. I would prefer the three cost out here, but I will I will accept the one cost right here so we can we can burst to protect Mystic on this round, I think. I think we're just gonna kill the bandit. I think that's the that's the line here. If we, if we put damage on the ogre, the ogre just kills the mystic this round, I think. So, which I don't love. Not a big fan of that playing up that way. Okay, Jester, what do you got? Good roll from Jester here. Kill bandit. Keep mystic alive. We can only play one spell here. I think we actually just burst the mystic to keep mystic from dying. Okay. You can do better. You can continue to do better. Okay, you're at three HP. Let me just put a burst here. And it shouldn't be too hard to kill the ogre next turn. We need literally one damage from anyone. And by anyone, I mean, I think just the rogue, but rogue gets there. Very cool. Hmm. Okay, we can put tower shield on the statue. I don't love it. But it's another it's another side for the statue to potentially roll. Some, some value here, I, I guess, right? Better than nothing. Uh, we need to not die <laughs> oh you know what we can we can overkill an illusion here so the bandit runs away that's very good news prefer to cantrip a little bit here it will be an issue if if we cantrip both of these illusions so once we cantrip one of them i think we i think we stop rolling i will accept this i think actually that seems fine to me you know what i've just realized actually <laughs> the <laughs> the statue's only gonna put the shield on himself because he's, he's the heaviest Maybe not. Maybe reroll is actually the the correct choice there. Well, we'll take that. <laughs> Love you, statue. You're doing you're doing great work out there. Um, so we do this for sure. Kill an illusion. I think we accept that the illusion is going to weaken our jester here and we keep the, the, the brigand alive. Soodle doesn't have shit though. Next turn, Soodle's rolling a two for sure. Okay, a three, whatever. Same difference. Mm. It's fine. <laughs> love love the, the statue play. So far, so good. Um, I don't hate Vampire here. A little bit more offensive presence would be pretty good here, especially considering the statue isn't doing shit. I think I like that more, but debatable. God, that's so funny. Okay, Slime Queen, how's it going? How you doing, girl? I'm willing to put a poison down round one. That seems pretty useful to me. Brigand can get in for three as well. What a mess. What a fucking mess. We can do better. We can do better. But we can... Wait, okay, well, we had a 50-50 shot of doing better, I guess. Um, well, not 50-50. A little bit better, but whatever. Uh, boop. Boop. Boop, let's take the Slime Queen down ASAP here. Jester taking a big... Jester and Rogue taking big hits there, which I don't love. Should be able to dispatch the Slime Queen fairly quickly, though, I imagine. Let's keep re-rolling. want to get the Cruel side, maybe, on the, on the Rogue. If we could. We'll accept this. Okay, so uh, instead, Jester and Rogue are both dying. <laughs> we, 
we can only play this once. But on the bright side, Statue's got that revival potion, so I'm sure we're doing just fine. Everything's great. We can do better actually than this because we can get like a killing hit here. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You love to see it. Mm. Brigand still dies here no matter what we do. It's tightly more mana efficient just to burst here instead. It's the same result. Okay. Huh. Let me keep rolling. I like this. I like this. I don't know what I'm looking for on Jester right now. <laughs> It's just the three mana side more than anything. Take the one mana though. Um, flick into rogue kill here is pretty good. Then gesture just kills a slimelet or vampire kills a slimelet. The statue just looks pretty. Okay. Uh. Take this. We prefer Vampire to get another heal side. There we go. Vampire kills Slimelet. We flick. <laughs> Can't even use the extra mana. Yeah, I know I can only keep three mana game. I'm aware. Don't rub it in. Uh, I like Big Heart here. Statue, you're an asshole. I'll keep this just to make sure the Slimer dies for sure. Mm. Keep Jester topped off. Flick there. Yeah, that's game. That is game. Empty Chalice. If you have zero mana at the end of the turn, gain one mana. That's never going to happen. Place the middle slide with zero damage flesh pain. Bonus equal to your current health. Oh, I'm putting this on the statue. So you just you just kill yourself to blow someone up. Absolutely. And if we get any shields on it, he lives the attack too. Uh, for sure. No doubt about it. Statue statue has become a grenade. <laughs> and even if statue dies, that's okay. Cause we'll just, we'll just do this every turn instead. This is a much better position to be in, I would say. Um, I'd rather get an exert here, I think, on the brigand this round. And does the statue explode? Not this time. Unfortunate. So we've got a lot of damage coming at Chester, which I don't love. So let's try to kill there if we can. Which we can't really save him. What are you going to do? That is what it is. Should be getting a level up for Brigand here, which is nice. Okay, statue does get to explode, which you do you got you love to see it. Um the question is do you save statue beforehand? I think the answer is no. Let me kill here. Yeah, I think we just burst here. Statue explode. And, huh. Guess we go with Berserker. No one has anything that we can use to grow, unfortunately. Maybe later, though, we'll get something. And the plan is just to be the statue every single turn that we can with Viscera. That's like, that's like the goal right now, is just to blow this man up as many times as possible. Don't hate the heal five for Jester this round, but I think we just we just need to get a, a, a attack here instead. Okay, Jester. It was a good attempt, I guess. Uh, 
Uh. Oh, we hit the, we hit a we hit a cantrip up here. I was gonna say like maybe we can go to quartz instead, or go to the bottom quartz instead. I mean, but no. Okay. Berserker getting weakened here is unfortunate, but listen, this statue is about to pop off. For real, for real. Here it comes. Get ready for this. Uh. I'll take that. We can get a flick in here. Which gets Soodle to half health, so Rogue kills in a single hit, which is nice. Like that quite a bit. Then I guess we don't Berserker. Because of the uh, the pain hit. Just play it like this here. This statue is gonna. I, the problem is the statue is about to explode. This statue is about to bust. Um. Would prefer not a pain hit. There we go. Thank you, Berserker. Berserker, Berserker just kills the quartz here first, which is nice. We'll burst and then kill. And you know what? It looks like we're going to get a chance to keep the statue full health for the next more important combat, which is why we definitely didn't absolutely just burst on the statue. Oop, there you go. Man, this is this is a this this is a banger. I feel like this isn't on the the lo-fi playlist normally for Mr. Harris Heller. It's not really a lo-fi song either, but it is kind of going. Anyway, sorry. Uh Eucalyptus. Heal three, cleanse, double use. That seems pretty useful. Plus one to all sides for each stack of poison on me. Um, you know, potential wombos there for sure, but we don't have any of them. I think I'm down for eucalyptus. That on vampire seems pretty nice here, actually. Or maybe we put it on the statue to give... Maybe I should put it on the statue to give him another usable side. Maybe I actually like that a bit more. Okay, Wiz is going off big time. We killed the zombie with the berserker. Mm, let's we just accept this. Oh, statue's about to bust. Statue's about to bust here, which is actually good news because it means that we can stun the whiz as well. Guess we take that, whatever. Okay, so berserker the zombie. That's the first thing. Second thing, you go, you just absolutely bust. Oh, you know what you can do here? Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to go for the three mana side, because if we do it, we can put a burst on the statue instead, and he lives. Huh? Oh, well. Damn. You get to stun the wizard, though. He's, he's, he's as good as dead. You can get out of here, bud. Okay, Lich is here. Dabblers versus Keeper. We can turn the statue into a real character now, but we're, we've kind of already committed to the, the bus maneuver. So I kind of want to keep doing this. And Dabblers is pretty strong. I think we take the Dabblers here. We take Dabblers. I think we, I guess, put growth here on this. Not that it matters that much. Okay. Okay, you know, the Petrify on Statue, not going to matter that much, especially if we hit the bus this turn. We'll see how it goes. We have a lot of damage coming for Berserker. I kind of don't hate holding this heal in case we hit one of the pain sides on Berserker. We play it like that. Okay. Uh... Well, this does mean we get to remove the Petrify on Statue, which is kind of cool. I don't hate doing that. You know what? Hold on. Let's flick a Bones here. I guess we do it like this. We kill both of them. Yeah, I kind of like that more, I guess. So Statue statue gets the bust from full here. We can, If we can take out this Bones and then and then hit Viscera, we do just kill the Lich this turn, which is pretty, pretty sick with it. I got to say, we'll be really cool. Oh, we actually have it. We do actually have the sick nasty combo. 
Okay, we'll take this here too. Take this. What do we get on Jester? Anything? Get something. Okay. So, boom. Oh, we got the two mana side we could have shielded. Not that it matters, I guess, but still. Whatever. <laughs> Lich dies. We heal Berserker. We can we can flick we can flick uh and then hit a bone here. The statue play? Gotta say, apparently genius level maneuvers here. It is working. Okay. We kill, we kill. We are already lethal there anyway, I'm pretty sure. Okay, scales. Set the value of the rightmost side to the maximum of your other side's values. Um, that is neat, but I think I will just take the twisted flax. That's a little bit more reliable here, I'd say. Um, like this seems pretty good to me. I don't even like the the heal one vitality thing on the vampire. So I think just giving giving the. Uh, the heal attacks plus three is pretty good. Doesn't hurt to put it on dabbles either, but I like I like turning a side we rarely use into a side that now we just don't use. And a side we use very often to just a better side. Uh, you could also, I guess, see argument for like this too, maybe, but I don't know. I think this is better. Okay, statue. It's time to bust. It is it is time for you to bust, good sir. If you do not mind. Um, it is unfortunate that we, I mean, I want to get the three mana side here, actually. Oh, so close. Um, the funny thing here is that we need to actually soften this demon up first for statue to actually kill in a single hit. Mm. I guess we play it like this. Although... Click first. Should be able to kill the troll next turn, hopefully. Bart Cloud coming in hot. We get maybe the, the death defy side. Or actually, no, we'll just take the heal. Just to keep Berserker definitely alive here is pretty good. Ooh, and we get the death defy. Okay, that is extremely lethal. What is this actually called? Death? Is it, is it a death wish? Death wish, not death defy. Hmm. Ha ha ha. I like Witch. I don't like Artificer. I think we just take the Witch. And Witch does hold this pretty well, too, because now we turn a Cleanse 5 into a Cleanse 4, which is still pretty strong. And then we turn a Boost 1 into a Boost 2, which is crazy, and a Weakened 1 into a Weakened 2, which is also crazy. All of that seems very strong to me. Now, hopefully we can make Statue Bust here again, because if we do, we get to scare off this Bandit as well, which I like. Looks like we'll have to opt for just this instead. Just still an okay turn here. Keep it rolling. Oh, and we get the bust. Okay. Uh, come on, Jester. What do you got for me? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so statue definitely busts this up here for sure. And then I would rather kill this null down here. So I think we do like a this into this, and then the bandit gets scared away too. Then we do a little flick here. You can get away, bud. You're, you're, you can get out of here. Okay, sickle. Plus one to all lowest pip sides versus dragon pipe, which is plus one to all heal slash self heal sides. Uh, which doesn't have that many heal sides, important to note, but I think this is still pretty good on the witch. Still just a pretty solid pickup here. Um. I don't know. Yeah, I think we just take the, the pipe. I think the pipe is just a pretty safe take here. Going boost three, cleanse five. You could argue that you go for the, the sickle instead and then the boost and the weak and get uh, buffed up, which is pretty cool. I don't know, debatable. I would say debatable. So Berserker is our only real AoE attack here to kill these illusions, which is a little concerning. 
Um, get to kill the ghost in a single bust, which is nice. We just take any attack we can here, basically. And we'll even look for a weaken on the witch here instead of the uh, the boost, because we don't need the boost here this round. Although, I guess, actually, in retrospect, maybe we should have taken it because it would give the dabbles the, the ability to one-shot a snake instead. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we, we bust on the ghost. We, uh, you know what we can do here, too? We can, well, we, we still kill, I think... Maybe kill you... And then I think we flick the snake. And that's a little bit better for us, like, sorta, yeah. It would be nice if our healer had uh, a, a res to bring back the statue after it, after it busts. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Now the cleave heal is actually really strong. I like the cleave heal here quite a bit. Uh, we will take the dodge on the jester here too. In his weakened state, he's not gonna be that, he's not gonna be that useful to us here. Um Okay, let's let's attack first with the barbarian. I think we go like uh Hold on. I don't think we take this actually. I think we take these three and then we roll for an attack here for Dabalist. Or not. Okay. Guess we flick an illusion. Or do we? I think we do. I guess we attack any of these snakes, whatever. Dodge with the Jester. We got a lot of poison going around, which I don't love. There's a lot of poison floating out here. We should be able to wipe up most of this fight this round, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully, maybe, kinda. I will accept the heal here, I think. And what do I want from the Jester? Not much, I guess this is fine. Uh, guess we just do... Like this, and then we just salve the berserker so he doesn't die. That seems good to me. Which has got a lot of poison, which I don't love. Berserker is right there on death's door as well. Okay, just to just to play it safe, we'll take this here. I think just to be safe. And then we just hit into flick here. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm okay with taking Bash here, I think. I think Bash is pretty cool. Granite, I mean, we can't burst it. We, we, we can't bust if we're Granite, right? I think Bash is a, is a fine pickup for us here, too. It is unfortunate that we will most likely not be able to save Dabblos, and by most likely, I mean, there's just no conceivable way here we, we save that, uh... We save the Dabalus from uh, Tarantus here. I'm okay with Bash right now. I think we want to put on Bash instead here. I don't think so. You could argue maybe you want to put like the tower shield onto someone and then put the, the block onto Bash for the shield Bash here. But that's a little that's a little too cute, I think. Unnecessary. Okay, we are immediately busting. Tarantus is 25 health. We take 10 out right away with the bust. But that does not put us... Oh, it actually does put us in, in, in stun range here. Check this shit out. This is actually really cool. So, uh, first thing, you gotta, you gotta bust first. Although, eh. Do you opt to save statue? It's not worth much to save statue. Here's the problem, so I don't think we do it. I think we, we bust. And then we do a little of this. A little of that. Tarantus is stopped. And then we get to we get to do a flick somewhere. You now we can do actually, which is kind of cuter. We do this. I think we flick Tarantus. And we put the weaken on like uh I don't know where yet. Hold on. 
Do this. Do this. You bust here. I guess you put the weaken on the poison spider. Although the poison spider actually is attacking the dead, the dead statue. Let's put it up here. That's like a little bit better for us. So we want to get one Dabbles attack out here real quick. Oh, luckily Tarantus is also attacking Dabbles as well. Mm. Mana's not that valuable. I'd rather just get an attack, I think, off of off of this, which is good. Okay, so. We get to hit you for three. You love to see it. I think we will kill this spider. And then we will weaken here. I believe we flick here. I'll let it matter if we flick versus burst. Same thing, basically. We gotta rush down Tarantus here. Before the fight gets nasty. So... Tarantus, you're at, you're at 7 HP right now. I think this is fine. Hopefully getting the weakened 2 here. On the witch would be really nice. Uh, cleave, cleave heal is fine too. We'll just daze you for a bit. Burst the poison spider. And once Bash hits his exert side, we should be able to kill Tarantus here. Pretty, pretty easily. There we go. And that's, that's I think, lethal, right? Because this kills. This kills. Very cool. Okay. Scorpion Tail. Weaken and pain to the top and bottom sides. Pretty good on Bash for sure. Olympian Trident. Add Cleave to the middle side. Not that useful here. Pretty good on the Dabalus, though. Um... Cleave, cleave cleanse is pretty cool on the witch. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> it has to be done. I'm sorry. I, I am sorry. It does have to be done. Okay, so let's do a little bit of reworking here. I think we do like this right now, and then and then like this. Mm. Is that good? I, I gotta I gotta have this statue burst have cleave. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. Okay, statue, here's your time to shine. Uh we can do better, I think, here. He's done it, by the way. He's actually cracked it the game. So we will. God, this is so fucking funny. <laughs> okay, let's let's keep rolling these a bit though. So we can actually heal the statue here preemptively, and then just cleave for sixteen. <laughs> oh, you know what we can do as well. Oh, you know what? I don't think it works as the 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 hellfire triggers. I was gonna say we could we could burst on the statue to keep it alive, but the 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 demon stops that from happening, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh oh, hold on. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> uh, what do you like here? I mean, is, is ride or die on statue at this point? I'm sorry, Paladin, we're not taking I guess you just take the Sorcerer then. It's a good spell to have as well. I do not hate that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Pretty low damage coming in here. I don't hate bashing like a Basilisk, maybe. To keep it from putting poison down. So I think we do something like this here. I think we'll even take the Eucalyptus to remove the... the uh, what's it called afterwards? The... you know what it's called. You know what it's called. Don't make me say it. Uh, the petrification. Okay. Hold on. Let's attack first. Let me bash here. Pump up the statue with the rest of our eucalyptus. Creating the bones is annoying. 
but we can still hit the whiz if we see the if we see the the bust. I'll take a damage. Take the exert side here. Seems pretty good. He's bound to hit it soon. He can't keep whiffing forever. This does stun the, uh, stun the Wiz, not stun. This does stun the Wiz so he doesn't get to summon bones this turn. It would be really nice if we can go into the final boss with a full HP statue, but we shouldn't expect for that to happen here. It's unlikely. Um, we can keep Sorcerer alive here pretty easily. We just do this and then, although, eh, let's, let's, let's keep rolling. Okay, it is time to bust. It's not going to be the biggest bust in the world, most likely. We do get to make it a little bit bigger here with this. So you play that. You burst. And statue lives. God, that's so cool. Okay. Iron Cauldron, plus four to the left side. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you. Angel Feather, ask rescue, add rescue to top and bottom sides. Uh, rescue on which could be cool. We could fit it in somewhere, but I don't... I guess we could do this, maybe. And then... Like, Weakens not going to rescue very often, but it, it could. And then, like, if boost... If, if heal 2 ever rescues, it's going to be sick as hell. I don't know. Maybe we should have just rolled there, actually, for a random instead. We'll see how it plays out. Okay, statue. You know, you know, you know, you know the drill. Uh, I don't hate bash here. But I think I would prefer to roll. Okay, don't... I was hating everything I'm seeing again. Okay, there we go. There's my guy. So the question is, what do we do? I think we, I think we kill a zombie. I think we kill a zombie, and unfortunately, if we, I, I want to bust on the spiker, but if we bust on the spiker, that means there's like a guarantee that we don't, we don't, the statue doesn't survive the bust. I think that's fine. I think we do something like we do. Uh, I think we just bust like here. Kill, eh. You know what you do here? Oh, you do you do this. Yeah, you you bust here. You bust here. It kills the zombie and the spiker, and then you you dabble the the zombie up here. Yeah, rip, rip in peace. By the way, um, this doesn't matter. I guess you play the miasma. It is a shame. But he 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 died doing what he loved most, busting. Bash doesn't die to this. We get this album up here. Very cool. I mean I listen, I I I, I couldn't I couldn't abandoned statue now like i get that it's not very good against the hand here we get much more benefit out of the plus one on someone like stalwart but it, it, it is a little ride or die for me here and i'm gonna ride uh and hopefully it works you know what you could do as well actually now that i think about it more the tower shield does make a little bit more sense now than it did before uh I think we're going to put the power shield on Bash. Bash on the statue should keep the statue alive after the after it busts. So we're going to try that out here. We're going to see how that plays out. <laughs> okay, everyone wants to kill the statue. Which is just rude. Definitely taking the witch here to, to hit the hand. Less summons would be much better. Okay. There's a lot of things I want to see here. Um, 
Eucalyptus is pretty good. I'll take that and I'll take this too, I think. Okay, we can keep rolling here. Or not. Either way, I think I think Statue lives post-burst right now. I think we now burst. Like that. Like, come on. How are you going to say no to that statue play? Okay, I think I think the statue is... Uh, his time is up. <laughs> we'll see, though. It's a lot of mana. <laughs> we do just get to kill the hand here. <laughs> Saber kills statue, but that's a that's an acceptable trade if you ask me. Wow, what a what a <laughs> what a silly one. What a silly run. I it's 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 the craziest statue run I've ever seen. Maybe not for you, but for me it's the craziest statue run that I've ever seen. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.